Hello everyone, and welcome to my Let's Play of, um, you know what, this game doesn't have a name. Oh well, it's, um, a project that a friend, um, I believe his name is, I don't remember all his name actually, because I'm really derping right now, but his name is, uh, Crimson something on, and he's on Cloudsdale, and, um, yeah, so... This isn't a pony game, which, you know, is different for me. I actually thought it might be. I didn't really ask him what the game was. Um, besides the basic idea of it, it's a horror RPG, he said. At the moment, you can definitely see the horror game part. Um, so, I turned the down the volume. I think it's pretty good, but we'll have to see. Unfortunately, I can't make it very full screen, uh, though if you're watching the Let's Play, it hardly matters, but, um, yeah, anyways, I'll put the, uh, download link in the description as I usually do, uh, unless he says otherwise. I didn't actually ask if I could, I just asked him, like, hey, dude, can I make a YouTube video of this? Because he asked people for feedback on his project, and he's like, oh, sure, you can do that, that'd be cool, and I'm like, sweet. I'll totally do that. Um, I almost feel like I should... Okay, that kind of startled me. I was gonna say I feel as I should turn that as if I should turn it up more, but it's obviously loud enough that it can still uh, startle me. Now he says, ah, uh, yeah. Apparently, if you pass that one point, it keeps staticking you. I, that's why I was doing it. I'm like, does it just keep doing it? Um. Oh yeah, I think he mentioned that. That's one of the things he wanted feedback on. Is if the oh shoot, uh, can I check my health? Apparently, you don't want to walk around in the poison watery stuff. Oops. <laughs> That's quite startling, isn't it? Um, so anyways, might be a bit derpy, but it's a horror game, which is why I'm doing it right now, because I'm like, it's a, it's a horror game. It's hard to mess up too much. Um, okay, said that there was a certain, oops, there's a certain cave I wanted to explore somewhere. Okay, that's how I opened up my, oh, I thought I took damage from walk around that stuff. So I'm a level one soldier. Oh wow, I already have equipment and stuff and it doesn't look bad. Though admittedly there might be no use for it literally, um any of this. It doesn't look my guy looks pretty badass at the moment, so I might not be able to do oh hey I can save. Ah oh, it actually saves, cool. My guy looks pretty badass at the moment, um, so I'm not sure that there's any combat because I think he mo mentioned to me that there were actually no monsters added in. Um, I'm not sure if that means I can't die or not. Let's see, if I walk around this... Okay, so I do actually take damage. But if I... What if I walk around outside of that? Do I recover health or... Okay, yeah. So from the looks of it, if you walk around too long in this stuff, you take damage, and if you walk around outside of the poison stuff, you recover health after a certain, after walking around outside it for long enough. So I don't think those numbers matter too much at the moment. But yeah, so um, some of you might be able to tell, I believe this was made via RPG Maker, but I'm not entirely certain. Oh, can I read the graves? Doesn't look like it. I'm not sure what in all the buttons are, I probably should have checked if there's any uh, specific buttons to look at things or not. I know the button to get in and out of my inventory now. I mean my status screen. <laughs> my stat screen. I have a stat screen. Do you have a stat screen? <laughs> uh Bridgemon. I love it. Okay, um so let's head out of town, I guess. 
I remember there was a, like a lava cave and he's like you should explore this and I'm like okay I play RPGs and I'm used to that you should explore these places so I'll proceed to do that I have to admit, the static thing is kind of creepy, though I'm not particularly sure, um... If there's anything that's gonna pop out at me besides, like, Oh, hey, I'm static! Rawr! Be scared. Um... It is still pretty startling, though. I'll, I'll give him that. It's it's a nice little gimmick. Ooh, and this... And the music changed. Ooh, listen to that. That's some good. Is it just me or does the screen look a little funny? I don't know. On purpose or not, this so far is, is turning out to have some good horror game gimmicky things. I feel weird calling them gimmicks, but at the same time I don't know what else to call them. I'm like, um, it's horror game stuff, you know, scary background noises. The static thing. Um, yeah. And without actually seeing my character in action, which is why a lot of games aren't uh, horror RPGs or anything like that, because without seeing my character in action, I really don't know uh, what and all he is capable of. I don't think I've played a horror RPG before, but I'm not sure. I'm looking forward to seeing the finished product to see what he's actually doing with this. Besides making a horror game. Because if it didn't have the more RPG elements, I would totally just straight out think, um... Oh, what's this one? What's the PSP one I'm playing? I, I totally can't remember right now. Like I said, I'm totally derping today. Okay, let's try heading up. Oh, snap. It's, it's, it's getting more creepy, I think. I'm not sure. Okay, PSP one I'm playing. PSP one I'm playing. I'm totally freaking... Oh, yeah, Corpse Party. I kept, I kept thinking High School of the Dead, and I'm like, no, that's the anime. It's not High School of the Dead. <laughs> Well, it's also the manga, which, um, people tell me the manga is better, and I'm like, okay, I guess. I don't, I, I haven't really watched either. I just know the name because, I don't know, because it's, it's on YouTube and stuff, and it's called High School of the Dead. I'm like, yeah, that's a title that just stays in my mind for some reason, but, um, no. And Corpse Party sounds like it could very well be called High School of the Dead. Um, just because of the the setup. That's and I can see why it's not because Corpse Party just I don't know. I really like the game though. Oh hey, is that a person or is that a monster? Oh wait, that's a person. Hello. Why do you come into my domain, mortal? I I don't know where I am. Of course you don't. You shouldn't be here. Why not? Years ago, there was a great overtaking. Everyone died. You need to go to the underworld to find them all. How do I get to the underworld? I have a way, mortal. Come with me. Um... I'm also wondering if this dialogue is going to be different, though. Admittedly, I almost laughed. I, I don't imagine... It, it's not that bad, just surprise, it's like, <laughs> okay, you should get out of here. Actually, everyone died. Instead of getting out of here, go to the underworld. And I'm like, okay. And then I'm teleported to the underworld. Wait. Are you ready? Yes. All right, then. Take this ring. You will need it. Obtained one soul bonds ring. I'm not sure if I skipped the lava dungeon or not. I really don't know. Oh wait, this appears to be the lava dungeon, so I guess I should just. Ex I, I guess I should explore it. And thank you, voice. I'm gonna find a dragon shield. I'm gonna equip it if I don't have one. Well, fine. 
I'm gonna have two dragon shields. And if I didn't already have an axe, I'd dual wield them and be like, oh yeah, I have all the defense. Suck it. Except I don't think I can do that in this game. But who knows? You know, I could go around dual wielding shields, possibly. There, there aren't very many games where you can do lolzy things like that, but I think there's one or two games where I can go around dual wielding shields and being like, suck it, I have all of the defense and none of the offense. Um, yeah. And a dragon helm was found. You know, I wonder how much feedback he's gotten, because I think this is something he didn't intend to do, maybe. Um, because he said you should really explore this dungeon, and so far I'm finding equipment that I already have. So, it, I get this feeling that you aren't supposed to start with any equipment at all. And, you know, but I do, so I'm just sitting here getting the same equipment over. Though really, there's no random battles at the moment, so I'm not sure how much I need equipment <laughs> at all. Um, th there might be some not random battles, so that might be why he's like, you need to explore this, because there aren't random battles, so I can't grind enough that even if I don't find all the equipment, I can take on stuff. But I already started with everything as far as I can tell. Okay, there's five elixirs. So that might have been part of it. Yeah, restores all HP and MP. Wow. That's some nice stuff. So, yeah. Okay, so stuff like that. So I should keep looking around, see if I find more such items. Because stuff like that could really save me in a battle, obviously. An ultimate amulet. Okay, so I could be wrong. Maybe you weren't supposed to, uh, let's see, this will down all of my stats except magic, I really don't want it that badly. Okay, and then I found this other thing, which, is it an item then? Uh, what was it called? Ultimate Amulet, I think, it sounds like an item to me. I don't know, I'm not seeing it. There's, um, why would it be there? I don't know. Okay, so, I'm not seeing it at all. Well, fine then. I'm, I don't know what happened to it. It, 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 yeah. Well, hey, he, well, part of the reason I'm making this video is to help him discover glitches, I think. Now, he's probably going to be like, I kind of want to, you know, hear about the glitches anyways, you know, in person, I'm not sure. But, I have a video, so, if I can't think of some glitches that happened, I can be like, oh, hey, here's a video. Here's a video that shows you every single glitch, every single everything I encountered while playing your, uh, beta thing. I think you said it was a beta, but I'm not sure. I want to say it seems more like an alpha to me, but that's just due to the lack of monsters. Obviously, the game actually looks like a game. Um, which, by the way, he said I could stick in any character, uh, any, yeah, I could make a character that I wanted and have it in the game, and I'm like... At first, I was disappointed um, that I never got th got to do that because I didn't help him with the story, and I'm okay with that because it looks like the story's good. And I was interesting. Anyways, it looks like the story's good, anyways. And um, I thought those would be ponies, but it's like humans, and I'm like, that's cool. It, you know, actually like. Because I like ponies, but, you know. I haven't done a lot of not-pony games recently, and humans are fine for RPGs and scary stuff. Okay, looks like it's battle time. Demon emerged. Fight. Attack the demon. Attack him with violence. Ow, that thing hurts. Here's an elixir. Oh, dude, what? Well, that sucks. Okay, from the looks of it, what um you aren't able to win that battle, from my guessing. 
And this reminds me of something from Final Fantasy. Admittedly, I really should have started playing this game uh, earlier because it is bothered. And I might split it into parts. This game is appearing like it's... Oh, okay. So I just have to equip Solomon's ring and step into the circle. Um... So in any case, what was I totally gonna say? Um, I sh I might end up swinging this into parts anyway, so it might be fine because it does appear like it's not that short of game. Um, but yeah, it's already starting to get light outside, so I should have started playing it sooner than like now because. I'm like, dude, it's a horror game. It shouldn't start getting light outside. Huh. That's like a sign of hope in, for a lot of horror stuff. And it just doesn't work very well. It's like, oh, I can kind of... It, out of the corner of the eye... Out of the corner of my eye, I see that it's getting vaguely brighter outside. That sucks. That doesn't suck because I don't want it to get brighter. Though, admittedly, I wouldn't mind having nighttime. Nighttime is nice. Because, you know... Huh, cause, uh, huh, because adult stuff. That's kind of about right for once. That's not. That's not my usual. Huh, that's not my usual. Oh hey, why did that guy die? Um, think of something th stupid. Think of something stupid because adult stuff. Um, you know, which by the way is still creepy sounding as hell. Why is that guy dead? He's dead because adult stuff, which can be accurate, but you know. Usually he's dead because violence with swords and magic and stuff happened. Then again, usually the guy doesn't have a name and I don't care. <laughs> I don't, I just, I really, I, I have none of, I have none of the caring. None of it. Hmm. Oh wait, I think, I think he said this was, oh wait, no, I think he said that, okay, so I'm probably not going to do another part. I think he said that there's literally just a guy at the top of this castle, and that is the end of the, the game, and I'm like, okay. Um, I think he said it was a blue castle. I didn't really think about it at first, because I was like, it's been pretty short. But he said it was pretty short. It's, it's a beta, alpha thing. I just want to call alpha. Oh, wait, am I, am I at the top of the tower? Because I thought, I totally thought I wasn't, oh, wait, or maybe if I go down this way, um... Okay, wait. I, I, I have no idea where I'm going at this point. Huh. Look at that over there. That looks interesting. <laughs> okay, so... I might be going the right direction. I, I just... I have no idea. Really, at the moment. Um, but yeah, this will probably be a little more dungeon-like and exciting once there's actually monsters and stuff implemented. Oh, look at that static. Oh, look at that static. Hello, guy. Are you gonna kill me? Why have you come this far? Oh, and you have a line of dialogue because you're a dick. You're a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna run around you and cause static and call you a dick because I'm tired and that's like all that's going to happen. <laughs> yep, you're a, you're a dick. You're a dick. And I'm gonna tell you so. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna knock over your throne. <laughs> I'm, I'm being stupid at the moment, but um... I, that's really all there is to do in the, in the game. At the moment, I, I guess I should say in the alpha, on the beta, alpha beta thing. And it's it was kind of early, but so this appears like it will be a good time for especially for something that was just made in RPG Maker. But you know, it's it's 
It's an alpha. It, it's it's a lot better than the last alpha I played though, which is good news. That gu this guy, I can understand. He actually wants to see. Okay, what are some little glitches and things people are finding? What are people thinking so far? Also, maybe though, you know, there's not that much opinion besides kudos on the creepy effects. I hope you find even more little creepy things to add, and of course, monsters to add. Um, some some visual creepy things would be nice, of course. But I imagine some of the monsters will cover that, because that's usually how it is with certain creepy things, like Silent Hill. Um, you know. Silent Hill is usually just more of oh my gosh, there's monsters. Um, you know, and, and stuff, and, and, and it depends on the Silent Hill, obviously. Some of the Silent Hills pull off the, the monster thing really well, and some of them don't. Like, the new Silent Hill, it's like, oh, look at that, it's an okay-looking monster. I'm kind of scared, I guess. Okay. <laughs> uh, it'd probably still be pretty scary actually playing it in the dark, but I haven't, um, actually really gotten to play it. So, yeah. Um, alright, so... I'm, try I'm trying to think if there's any notes I can leave at the end that I'm like, I really want to say. I'm, I don't know what was on purpose and what was on accident and what's going to change because I haven't talked to the guy that much. I'm just like, oh cool, you're doing a game. Oh yeah, and I actually got to do this one unlike last game I promised. Because last game I promised I was going to do for someone was like before. I owned Bandicam and their game had this terrible, not, not, it wasn't quite the game's fault, I don't think, but I couldn't get my I couldn't get Bandicam to start back up in the middle of the game very easily. And um so it was kind of hard to record. And then on top of that, I kind of got stuck at one point and I just I eventually said, "Well, it's basically a beta game. I just I I don't feel like I don't feel like asking help for help for, for playing a beta game. I'm sorry. Um. Hmm. I feel like I said some a weird thing or two in this demo, but it's really, um, like I said, the sun is literally rising right now. I can see just that little bit of light shining, you know, into my, not really light light, but, you know, that vague blue light of early morning shining into my bedroom through the blinds, and I'm like, oh my gosh, look at that. It's actually morning. How did, how did that happen? <laughs> Actually, I know how that happened. I woke up at 5 p.m. That's how it happened, but, you know. Oh, well. Stuff happens. So, that is the end of this Let's Play. So, I'm probably not going to do anything else horror game-wise. We'll see if I do anything else game-wise today. Anyways... Thank you for watching Every Pony, and I will probably, I probably won't upload this right now, early morning, because, um, I want to double check with the dude, hey, you said I could upload this to YouTube, right? I don't want to upload it to YouTube, and he's like, no, I meant you could upload it to YouTube, and you could show it to me. I didn't mean you could upload it to YouTube for everyone to be like, oh, hey, look, this is kind of cool or I don't like this, or whatever people's opinions is gonna be. I also have to ask him uh, if he has any ideas for a YouTube name, because this game, like I mentioned, um, the file name just says Project One, and I'm like, I could totally call it Project One and put it on YouTube, but I'm not sure if he has any name ideas or if he just wants me to do that or whatever. So anyways, Thank you for watching, everyone, and see you next time.